Hello dear students, our today's topic is Ibuprofen. This compound belongs to the therapeutic category of NSAIDs. That is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. The mechanism of action of this compound include the non-selective inhibition of cyclooxygenase enzyme. The cyclooxygenase is abbreviated as COX and it is of two types COX1 and COX2. This enzyme COX1 and COX2 it is involved in conversion of arachidonic acid to prostaglandin H2 PGH2 which is acted upon by the other enzymes and is gets converted to prostaglandin the prostaglandin is mediator of pain inflammation and fever thus when ibuprofen is given it inhibit the enzyme cyclooxygenase and does it bring about the inhibition of this conversion arachidonic acid to prostaglandin so as prostaglandin synthesis is inhibited there is relief from pain inflammation and fever thus the ibuprofen find its uses as analgesic as anti-inflammatory drug and as antipyretic drug as analgesic it gives relief from pain as anti-inflammatory drug it gives relief from inflammation and as antipyretic it gives relief from fever let's move on to synthesis of this compound the synthesis of ibuprofen is very important one in view of the examinations. The synthesis of ibuprofen starts with isobutene which reacted with benzene in presence of aluminium chloride and a eutectic mixture of sodium and potassium. Here we get formation of isobutyl benzene. The isobutyl benzene then is reacted with acetyl chloride CH3COCl in presence of AlCl3 aluminum chloride which is a Lewis acid. This is a very familiar reaction and it is known as friedel craft acylation reaction. This bring about the acylation that is attachment of this acetyl group CH3CO onto this position. Now this isobutyl group is 
वीकली एक्टिवेटिंग एंड इज ऑर्थो पैरा डायरेक्टर बट इन दिस कंडीशन इट विल डायरेक्ट द अटैचमेंट ऑफ दिस असाइल ग्रुप ऑन टू द पैरा पोजिशन बिकॉज ऑफ द स्टेरिक हिंड्रेंस प्रोड्यूस बाय दिस आइसोप्यूटाइल ग्रुप सो बाय दिस रिएक्शन वी विल गेट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ दिस करस्पॉन्डिंग कीटोन डेरेवेटिव which is called as 4 isobutyl acetophenone the benzene ring along with coch3 is called as acetophenone and at the this fourth position we have the presence of this isobutyl group that's why it is called as isobutyl acetophenone this acetophenone derivative is then reacted with hcn that is hydrogen cyanide molecule if we look at hcn the hydrogen acquires the partial positive charge while the cn acquires the partial negative charge and this undergoes addition on this carbonyl group this is a very familiar nucleophilic addition reaction of hydrogen cyanide on to the carbonyl group the hydrogen which is positively charged will go on to the negatively charged oxygen while this negatively charged cn will goes on this positively charged carbon which is a nucleophilic center over here to give us the formation of addition product which is called as cyanohydrin we can simply say it a cyanohydrin derivative this cyanohydrin derivative is then undergoes acidic hydrolysis with hi in presence of phosphorus and water molecule and secondly it undergoes reduction by acidic hydrolysis this cyanide group is gets converted into corresponding carboxylic acid this is also a very familiar reaction that the cyanides on acidic hydrolysis are gets converted to carboxylic acid in the second part the reduction of this oh group takes place and this is gets converted to the hydrogen so oh is replaced by h while cn is hydrolyzed to cooh so by this reaction we will get our desired compound in this case it is ibuprofen dear student this is our final product ibuprofen if you look at this name ibu it stands for this isobutyl group this pro stands for this propionic acid portion while this fen here stands for this phenyl one important point this carbon which is carbon number 2 is a chiral carbon due to which ibuprofen exist in its two isomeric form r and s the ibuprofen which is administered is the racemic mixture containing both the isomers one important point is that the whole anti inflammatory activity of ibuprofen is attributed to the s isomer that is all about the introduction mechanism action uh, uses and synthesis of ibuprofen 
Thanks for watching the video. Please like it, share it and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.